What's going on guys? Um, 21 Darks here. Welcome back to an episode of Blockland Basics. In this episode, we're going to be going over the player tab. In the previous episodes, um, we talked about the start a game and join a game tab. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get right into the player tab. There's no really background behind it. It's basically customizing your avatar. So one of the first things you're going to see off the bat is uh, your avatar looking like this. You're going to see, um, you know, this guy moving. You're going to see the randomized button, the land name, the clan tags, the color. So you're going to be a lot of different settings. We're going to go over every one of those settings. Starting from the top, see a thing that says set fabs. This means set your favorite avatar setting. So uh, say like you make an avatar. So like I make my police officer. You don't want your, uh, your avatar to get corrupted or something. You would actually save it in one of these uh, 10 different slots. So you see, if I actually try to click these, they're available for you to um, save your avatar. But the ones that actually aren't empty, like this one, that means there's an avatar saved. I actually had to re-record this video, and that's where this one was. This guy is actually here. So I'm just going to show you how to save it. You're just going to text set faves, and you're going to click the number, whichever one you want. You can actually select number 5 right now if you want to. I'm just going to hit number 1, and automatically save it. So if we change our avatar, and, and you don't like this avatar, you can change it back. Simple as that. So um, let's go ahead and move down to the uh, Customize Your Avatar button. So let's start with the facial features. So the facial features are if you want to change your face to look like this, to look like this. Um, I personally prefer this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to choose... I'll choose this one. Um, so this is the face I'm going to be choosing. Um, it goes well with uh, what I'm going to be um, what I'm going to be doing at the very end. Um, so moving down, the next one is your shirt. So what do you want on your shirt? Do you want a shirt like this? Do you want a shirt like this? I'm going to do the police officer shirt. Um, and yeah, so like if you want a uh, zombie shirt and stuff, pretty cool stuff, pretty dank memes down here too. Um, so yeah. On the next one we have, if you want to be a, uh, a a woman or a male, I'm going to leave mine as a male. Um, right here is the symmetry button. Now, I actually haven't experimented with this that much. So this video is going to be kind of an experiment with this. Um, I think I'm going to leave this checked in and wait till we get to this next section here, these next two sections. I may have to combine it because I think that's where this is going to play the biggest role. Down here is if your torso, if you want to dress or you don't want to dress. I'm going to leave it as regular shorts. Moving at the top here, we have the hat section. So if you want a... Uh, you know like a spacesuit this is where you would do it if you want like a police officer or a beanie uh, whatever you want i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna put the police officer hat um, and by the way you can't actually uh, drag your avatar upside down and stuff to go check it out um, i'm gonna leave it as default but yeah i'm gonna put the police officer hat down here is if you want um like a cape a backpack a bow and arrow bag um, I usually don't use these, you know, it's really honestly just depends on what the context is. So if you want to make an avatar for like a school roleplay, you would use the backpack setting. If you want to make an avatar for uh, a night roleplay, you would use the uh, chest plate. Um, going down here, as I think this is where we're going to be using the symmetry button. You can actually change your shoulders from broad to narrow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think if we actually uncheck this and we change it, yeah okay there you go so actually um if you if you want say like one shoulder to be different than the other you would uncheck this button and you can actually change interchange these um i'm going to keep the symmetry checked in because i'm not going to be messing around with these so if you like your shoulders narrow or broad that's where you would change it down here we have the hand section so if you want your hand to be a hook or if you want both hands to be a hook if you're a pirate or whatever that's where you would do it um uh, not really much to discuss in these two sections here it's just basically if you want your hands to look different, if you want your shoulders to look different. Down here on the bottom, we have the um, uh, peg leg set or option. So if you want both your legs to be peg legs, if you want um, just regular uh, old-fashioned feet, I'm going to leave mine as feet. These last two right here have to do with um, extra stuff that goes on top of your hat and torso. So if you like... Uh, spikes on top of your hat if you're playing a military role play i guess this would be important leave mine blank because i'm just a police officer same with down here military role playing or a night role play or if you're a captain on a ship or whatever you know it's it's just honestly what what your avatar's theme is 
So you customize your avatar, it shows all the settings. Now you want to change the colors. Well, in order to do that, um, you're going to have to go to these little boxes here. So this little box here next to the actual feature selector or the uh, selector, you're going to see a, a color, kind of a colored box. And you're going to click that. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different colors to choose from. So if you want your avatar skin to look white, uh, green, yellow, whatever. I'll leave mine as um, um, down here. Uh, we have uh, so color selector. So if you want a color t-shirt, this is where you would do it. Uh, as you can see, there's different ones. I'm going to change mine to a dark blue. Or actually, yeah, a dark blue. Because that's what the police officer one looks like. Um, and down here, you can see the uh, pants feature or selector. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to change it to this dark blue. But again, if you want any other color, that's where it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just customize the avatar real quick. Um, I think you guys get the point of how you can change colors. So I'm just going to customize the avatar real quick. Oh. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now say like I customized my avatar. Now I want to save this avatar. We're just going to do the same process I discussed earlier. I'm going to hit set faves. And I'm going to click whichever one I want to save it in. In this case, number two is number one. This is the default blockhead. And number two is the regular um, police officer. Now let's go ahead and move to this part of the uh, avatar selector. I kind of discussed how it's basically just you can rotate your avatar, but there's a neat little button here. So if you don't really care on how your avatar looks, just click this and you can end up with something like this or something as crazy as this. So I'm going to keep the police officer one down here. Now say like you don't like any of these colors and you want a new color. You can actually change your color scheme. Uh, so say like I want a RGB color, so I want it to be this shade of orange and not that shade of orange. That's where you would do it. Um, if you can actually add colors and just hit defaults and it will uh, automatically default it. But yeah, you can change the colors, you can add a color uh, down here and then you can change it to whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to do that, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of color making, but if you're very picky on your color scheme, go ahead and do that. So over here, this is where it's going to become important if you want to play multiplayer. This is your LAN name. Um, when we do LAN servers, this is where it's going to become most important. We're going to leave this as blockhead for now, because as soon as we get into LAN servers, it'll make a, lot, a little bit more sense. But these are your clan tags. Now, if we go ahead, and I'm going to jump into the multiplayer section um, real quick, but yeah. Uh, by the way, once when you're done making your avatar, make sure you press done and automatically save it. Um, yeah, so hit done, and uh, we're going to jump into multiplayer, and I can show you what clan tags look like. Look. So right here, you can see that this person is actually using clan tags. Um, and he's using the NTSC and PAL. So uh, this is the left clan tag, and this is the right clan tag. So as you can see, he uses the NTSC and the PAL, whatever that means, that's up to him. If we actually go to our avatar settings, so we're going to go back to the main menu. Whoops, uh, app player. So we actually go to our avatar settings. This is where his NTSC would be, and this is where his PAL would be. I'm going to go ahead and just put whatever. So I'm just going to put, um, uh, there you go. So I'm just going to put this, and if we actually join the game again, um, and I go ahead and say hi, you're gonna see it says meme and meme on it. So that's basically uh, how clan tags work. You cannot do more than four characters, so if I try to, it's not gonna work. If you want me to go more in depth into something that I did not discuss, leave that in the comments below. If you want me to uh, rediscuss some features on here, leave that in the comments below. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we went over the player section uh, if you want any other questions on join a game or start a game, please refer to episodes 1, 2, and 3. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Tony Darkster. Peace out.